think the most important thing is that it's relaxed. You know, we are, we're a busy family. There are six in the family. That means that there's normally a lot more than six of us in the house uh, with various friends. And I just always want everyone to be relaxed and comfortable. So they would be my two key words, I think. I just, you know, it's really important to me that I can feel comfortable wherever I'm sitting. I lay on the floor quite a lot. We sit on the floor because there's so many people they can't fit on the sofa. Um, so just, just being comfortable is the most important thing. The way I like the interiors to be, I, lo I love colour. I really, really love bright, vibrant colours. So I just find it energising. Um, and I also really care about the texture and the feel of things. So I like a lot of velvet when it comes to the sofas and the cushions and like mixing and matching. I like different shapes and the way it all fits together and all the different pieces we have around the house. I just like things to be interesting. And I like them to um, be memories from throughout our life. So obviously working in the music industry all my life, um, there's a lot of memorabilia all around. And with every little thing that we have, there's a story behind it and you know it documents the kids lives as well um, so yeah I just like kind of um, I like things to be interesting I like to have an interesting home that people can ask me questions about and there'll be a story behind them Um, well, we live in a barn, it's a barn conversion, so we've got some amazing flagstones, which I actually really like. We're lucky we've got underfloor heating, so I'm someone who walks around in barefoot all the time, and um, the texture's really important to me, the way things feel. So I love the feeling of having wooden floors, flagstones, but then also the comfort that rugs bring to that as well, so mixes and matches. When I was growing up, I grew up in the 70s, and I remember we had sizal everywhere and so I just remember it being incredibly hard on my feet um, so that's why I love the luxury of having very soft carpet I think which is what I've done upstairs so downstairs it's a bit of a mixed match I've got some lovely soft rugs that I can sit on and watch the television everyone can lounge around on um, hard wearing sizal in the hallway because it has to be because it's a thoroughfare and then upstairs it's just all about this lovely lovely comfort of just being able to pad around in barefoot and um, just and not to get burns on <laughs> your feet or just you know for it to to be abrasive I didn't want that at all so it's really important to me that we just have that softness um, I decided to go for wool because I love the look of it I love the feel of it um, I think I've got to a time in my life now where I feel like I can be a bit more grown up. I mean, I'm never going to grow up completely, but my kids are a little bit older, so there's less chance of spillages. Um, and I just wanted to do something a little bit more sophisticated and wool just appealed because it's a natural product, it's um, it's breathable and the acoustics are really good. You know, the house can be a little bit echoey, but there's uh, something about the sound quality when you've got wool laid that just really enhances every single room that you're in. Um, I've got wool pebble downstairs, I've got wool knot upstairs um, because it's a little bit less dense we've got underfloor heating and I didn't want the rooms to be cold so we were we were really well advised about the best thing to have and you know I'm just I'm so super happy with the result that we got We couldn't have had a better experience with our carpet fitting. So it was Andy from Wilton Knox, and it's a place that I've driven past loads of times throughout my life, um, but hadn't realised the service they provide. And he came and measured up. It's, you know, it, it matters when someone comes into your house, who they are and how they behave. So he came and advised me, constantly was in touch all the time with all the irritating questions that I have. And when it came to the actual carpet fitting, we I, I forgot that I'd booked the fitting, uh, bizarrely. I thought it was a week later, so I was sitting in a coffee shop and got a message to say that the guys were there ready to fit the carpet so I literally had to put my coffee down come home and empty the whole house and it was just completely upside down but they were so ridiculously accommodating like they didn't complain they were very helpful they moved all the furniture um, were very patient and then put everything back together and advised us what things needed to go where and took photographs so you know they they were they were brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I was so, so grateful for them being so accommodating in the face of my idiocy. <laughs> mm. 
So I knew I wanted rugs and I'm not a very creative person. I was worried that I'd be able to visualize how the rug should be, but actually the make me a rug um, facility that there is online is it's very, very easy. So you can look at all the different borders, you can look at uh, the width or how narrow you want it to be. You can look at the carpet that you want and see how it all goes together. There are lots of examples of how it will look. They mock it up. Um, so I was able to put that together quite easily, which was a miracle. And then they sent me out a sample as well. So it really wasn't very long between me designing the rug online and actually being in situ in the house, um, which surprised me so much. And yeah, I was really happy with it. My favourite room in the house is, um, there's a snug, which is where we've got big screen, there's a PlayStation there, really lovely, comfortable sofa, and it's just, it's like a womb. I can't, now, now the carpet is down, and it's, um, it's really thick and it's really spongy, it's the wall pebble, and it just feels so luxurious under your feet, and it's where we don't allow any animals, because we've got two dogs, we've got two cats, so it's very, very difficult to keep everywhere clean. I'm slightly paranoid about it, but that one room um, is the place that I hide. I go to in the daytime before I go and do my show and I'll watch a TV programme and it just feels so luxurious. It feels incredibly grown up and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm so grateful as well because alternative um, flooring do a kit when you get your carpet. So there's a kit and it tells you how to clean things. And literally we'd had the carpet down for 24 hours and I'm really worried about the dogs and the cats and my children, what they're gonna do. And I suddenly hear this yell from the snug and it's my husband who's decided to go and work in there and he'd knocked his green tea over on the floor and he was uh, just panicking wildly. Uh, so I just ran and I got the kit and I managed to sponge it up and I used everything and I read all the instructions, which is quite unlike me. And there's no trace of any stain or anything like that so thank god uh, the kit came with the carpet because you know you'll be using it within 24 hours if you're anything like me